Welcome back to another review for the 2018 ZL1. Uh, today we're reviewing these Morimoto uh, XB LED taillights. Uh, as you can see, I do have them hooked up in the sequential form. Um, so what we're going to touch base on is how they look, how the fitment is, how easy they were to install, and the warranty. So let's go ahead and start off by how they look. Um, let's make sure. Okay, so here is the stock tail light, and there is the sequential LED. Now, keep in mind that if you don't like the sequential, there is a jumper harness that basically to have them be sequential, you leave it unplugged and you install your headlight or you plug it in, and that would give you a solid turn light. My preference was to have the sequentials, and so, as you can see, they are, in fact, both doing that. As for the install, the install was very simple. Uh, three pins on top of each access cover, and then it's real dark, so, oh, hey, look, never mind. One there, and uh, one there. And then you just kind of up, pull the carpet back. There is three studs on each headlight. You have two right about here and one somewhere right in here. Um, put the ratchet back behind the carpet and you go. Um, so that's kind of what happened. There's some brackets in there that got me. Um, I wasn't bleeding too bad, but there was a little bit of blood, whatever. Not the end of the day. All in all, both headlights, and again, I'm not mechanically inclined, half hour. Um, so pop, 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 pull this off. Uh, pop and fold the carpet out, reach in, undo two, uh, three nuts, uh, obviously just loosen them with the uh, wrench or the, the socket, whatever you use, uh, and then hand loosen them, catch them. Uh, I did drop one and I was able to retrieve it. It uh, falls down in the uh, well. I did have to finagle my whole arm in there, whatever. You know, it wasn't the end of the world. I did zip tie some harnesses up to keep it nice and tight in there, uh, but once you get everything out, um, this does just pop out. It does have a couple locating tabs in there too, but uh, you know, pops out. Obviously, disconnect the uh, weather pack connector, plug the new one in. 2018, there is an extra harness that you have to buy, so all in all, uh, the tail lights were $440 for the extra harnesses, um, but anyway. I went with the smoked out, and let's go ahead and talk about the fitment. Here, you can see, fits nice and tight with the OEM body lines. Nice and snug with the plastic cover here, and against there, and down on the bottom, same thing. Sorry that that keeps flashing. So, install. Check, easy, half hour, not mechanically inclined. Looks, honestly, I think they look fantastic. I'm sorry that I can't get a better far back view um, because it is backed into the garage, but there we go. Let's go ahead and do it with the trunk closed. That way it looks a little bit better anyway. There we go. Um, so fitment. Here we go. Again, body lines are nice and solid. Looks great. Uh, they do have a red one if you prefer a red variant for, you know, if I guess you have a red car. Other than that, I really like dark accents on color or on cars. So that's why I went with the smoked and clear. Um, so yeah, there's that. Those are installed. They look great, honestly. Uh, you're looking for a cosmetic mod for your 2018 Z, well, 6th gen, sorry, uh, Camaro. Here you go. This is it. Nice and easy. Um, and then, like I said, 2018 and up uh, need that extra jumper harness. So, um, yeah, 40 bucks there, 20 on each. Woo! Um, no big deal. Come with a little relay or something. Not real sure what that is. If somebody wants to tell me what it is, great. Um, but, yeah, anyway, be sure to uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, comment because that's cool to hear your feedback. Let me know what you guys think of these lights. Do you think the uh, OEM ones looked better, which I have sitting right there? 
or if you think these ones here look a lot better. Um, I know my preference and these will be staying installed. I will, however, be keeping all the parts that I remove from this as uh, spares, or if I sell the car, people might want the OEM parts, so OEM exhaust, ooh, hint, hint. Um, and then we've got uh, the air intake box, which uh, you guys have seen my review of what I put on there, but you don't know what I have on there. So be sure to stay tuned, because clearly um, the car does run right now. See, exhaust, ooh. So anyway, uh, stay tuned for what exhaust I've got already installed on there, and I will do a review of that. I do have a couple other pieces coming. Um, I've got the Diode Dynamics um, LED marker lights, so we'll go LED there that's dark and LED there that's dark. Um, hopefully getting some more carbon fiber soon, which would be outstanding. Um, tint. And maybe a color change? I don't know. Anyway, be sure to stay tuned. And thanks for watching again, guys. It's been outstanding. And I definitely recommend these. Highly recommended. Thumbs up, like, subscribe. And we'll catch you guys later.